Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Joy of Rogue War Building with Mad Dog. That's me. <laughs> uh, I figured today we're going to be doing a, uh, a rebuild of this spot right here, the Claw. So, we need to make it work better. I'm just taking a few pictures real quick here so we can uh, kind of get the some reference points on how we did this last one, so. All right. Sorry, this is going to be a very quick uh, Joy Robo Building episode today, guys. So my apologies for getting on here so late, but it took so long dealing with my car today. And I had to eat supper real quick while it was hot, so I'm just now getting on. So we have less than an hour to get this build up and rolling, so. I don't think it's going to be that hard to do, so let's just go ahead and without further ado, get into it. Get my chat up. Here we go. Come on, chat. Okay. Well, in the meantime, let us delete. only deleting part of this so I would like to mostly leave it intact so are these medium or light cubes oh, these are medium cubes actually I have to delete the whole thing never mind so much for that <laughs> All right. we are start starting from scratch here Go ahead and dismantle this whole thing. And then I'll go through the basic rundown of parts that we're going to need for this. So as you can see, we're going to be doing something similar to what we've been doing. Come on, tablet. Oh, my tablet's downloading stuff. Is that a perfect time for you to do that? Right when I need you to display my stream. There you go. Finally. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to need today, guys, is we're going to need light cubes of various shapes and sizes. Um, we might use some rods. And for movement, of course, we're going to go with hovers again. Probably going to stick with the T4 and the T3s for the most part. Probably the T4s because they're so strong. Various thrusters and... For weapons, the main weapon's going to be the melee. Now we're either going to go with T3s or T4s depending on the size of the uh, arms. So that way we can uh, ensnare a robot in our claw grasp. And then we're going to put some happy little shields on this build. And of course a ghost module. Now I'm thinking I might just do only melee for this one. I would like to put Seekers on it, but I'm not sure. If we're not going to do Seekers, we'll put this Blink module on instead. But Seekers would be cheaper, so... What we'll to, we'll to wait and see. And then uh, we'll do some various uh, spiky needle tips and stuff like that. I think these spiky dagger is what we used last time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get the cube here. All right. So first things first, we need to get a core made in the back here. Okay. Let's go ahead and raise that up. And let's get these movement on here. I want to do the same thing as last time where I make it look kind of like uh, grappling arms. So... But I want to be able to enclose them too, so. Looks like right there. Yes, yeah, so I need to do one more set of cubes forward. Okay. That'll work. And then now. 
do a middle strip right there, like so. I like it. And then, get this nice edgy piece right here. Uh, we were one too soon, sorry. Do -do -do. And now, we can go like that. Like it. Okay. And then we shall sleep that. There we go. I like it. And now we no no wrong ones. Get those in there like so. Just so we have a little extra, extra armor in there. Hmm. Kind of feel like that looks weird, doesn't it? Kind of feel like we should do that instead. Yeah. I think that looks better. There we go. I like it. Okay. Now let's get some more of these nice little cubes right here. These happy little cubes. So happy to be part of this build. Alright. That looks nice. I like that. Alright. Now let's go ahead and... I think what I want to do... Let's do that. And then, yeah, below as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and raise this up some more. All right, let's go ahead and get our center stripe down here. And then get our nice slants there as well. utilize some uh, some of the suspension ones but which one should we use probably this one yeah and then we can put a uh, put a single cube right there I like it and then we can do this. There we go. Looks good to me. Alright. And let's go ahead and get some more hovers under here. Or, let's see if we can get these big thrusters under here, huh? Seems like if we didn't have that, we could fit this right there. Alright, I'm okay with that.
There we go. I think that's more than enough of uh, connection points, if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and add some rods over here, though. So we need the short ones. There we are. Let's do this. And then let's get that rod. Ah, they're not quite going to be in the right spot. So let's do that. And then this one should be perfect. There it is. And then do a short one right there. There we go. I like it. Okay. Now that we have multiple connection points for our thrusters and stuff, so they'll last a little longer. Let's go ahead and get that uh, ghost module on here somewhere. Now, I'm thinking the ghost module should go in the back here. Yeah, we have to leave those at least. Okay. Wasn't sure how strong this would be. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that ghost module there. There we go. I like it. And then we can put uh, these. No, those are too big. Smaller ones. There we go. And then this one, we could put one more of the T Force. Or, you know what? Better yet, we could put the antenna. There we go. There we go. Yes, I like that. All right. So far, so good, guys. Now we just need to build the front of it. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? All right. Now, the front is always the challenging part to do. So, we need to... Actually, I want to kind of do this different. Hold on. We're going to make it into a three-piece one this time. Now, we need to make it thicker this time. So last time, these broke off too easily, so I would like to build a massive anchor of some sorts here and then we can build a cool little drop down to this so actually let's go ahead and just double this up there we go all right now let's see if we can uh, pull off this look that I wanted to do for this build. So we need do these right here. Definitely need that. Need that. That. 
that, and that. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, let's see. We need pyramid piece. There you are. Bam. And then we need pyramid piece like that. There it is. Okay. I've got it figured out, guys. I just need to visually see it first before I could uh, pull it off. All right. Gonna make this look nice and sleek. There we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for in a robot build. That makes me very happy right there, guys. When you see your creation come together nicely like that. It's one of the best feelings in the world. It really is. Okay, let's get this last little bit right here. And then pyramid up to it like so. And then uh, we need I think just that. And then that one will be just a regular square right there. There we go. I like it. And then, and to finish off that nice, beautiful, smooth look, boom. Look at that, guys. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Isn't that a thing of beauty? All right, so let's see how to complete the beautiful, sleek look. Um, maybe we need to do that. There we go. I like that. All right. Now we just need to close off all these ends. I think that looks good right there. Alright guys, uh, unfortunately we'll have to remove those and put these in instead because we need this to be thick this time. We need it to be able to take a hit or two or three. Hmm. You know what? We could do this right here. And then... Do something different there. I think we need to do a pyramid to make that look the way I want it to. Okay. 
Or we just need to go with the box lick, yeah. Let's just go with the box lick. <laughs> And now, let's go ahead and get those nice. Oh. Rascally cubes just doing what they want sometimes. Alright. I like it. Looks nice. You know, I've got a, a beautiful fix that'll work there. To keep up that sleek look. Two pyramids coming right up. There we go. Bam. Oh yes, this looks so nice. Looks so nice. Still reminds me a little bit of the first one I built. Which is great. Okay. Let's get those melees in here to make sure we left enough room for them. Uh da 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 Start off with the T2s. That should be wide enough to ensnare a robot. This may be a, uh, what? Okay. Not sure why it wouldn't let me mirror mode there. That's weird. Okay. Whatever game. It's okay. You, you do what you want. Okay. Let us go back to finishing the, uh, tips over here. Uh, we need... Fortunately, I think we need these slants first. Alright. We need... Alright, now we need some square cubes. There we go, I like it. Now, and now for the happy little shields. Let's see if I remember correctly. I used these ones. This one seems to. Oh no, it was. Uh, it wasn't those ones, it was these ones. You know Let's do away with the layer. So that way we can get them closer. We may want to mount the uh, the seekers right here. Those might work right there, actually. Let me go ahead and get those out. No. Darn. Oh, there we go. There we go. I like that a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and get that cube back in there that needed to be there. 
da, 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 da. There we go. Looks nice. I like it. There we go. Alright. Looks already like a mean machine right there. So, now we need to build up with our other one. Uh, let's go ahead and do this at least, that way that looks nice there. Bam. I guess I could do that as well right there. Bam. And then we can put a nice little triangle piece right there. There we go. Okay. Now... Okay. So that should be good right there. about as long as that is just about all right now we need to make it another thick okay I like it my goodness my phone keeps going off like crazy There we go. All right. It looks nice. I like it. All right. Now that we have that kind of look, let's go ahead and complete filling in the pole area here. Let's go ahead and just get up to like that. Sorry guys, I'm trying to make this look nice and flowy, so. So we'll do another one up like so. And then now we need to start bringing that up. All right, um, bam, looks good, I like it. Mm. What do we need to do here to make this go upwards? I'll make it wider. I guess okay that makes sense to do it do it like that there we go okay now we can do this the way I imagined okay all right now do, do, do we do how do we do this Don't want to do that. Oh, I know what to do. We'll do the the pyramid right there, and that'll look better. There we go. Now we can kind of eliminate this. Do that smooth up to that. Okay. And then now. There 
Bam, 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 bam. All right. Okay. So we need to eliminate that. Dude. No, we need to do this one right here so it looks somewhat right. Oh, I know how to make this look right. Okay. I know how to make this look right. We do the pyramid. Okay with the rest of that. Now, if I remember correctly, I had some of these cosmetic parts put in here. Oh wait, 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 wait. Getting ahead of myself. We need to connect this right here better. There we go. Now we can do what I want to do in here. Okay. It looks like a mouth. I like that. And then now, let's just make a big uh, shield up here. So we need both of those sides. I guess I need to do one more set of blocks up. <clears throat> Start it right there. There we go. And then we do this. Bam, bam. Actually, I take that back. Do this. And then we do this. There we go. just for looks. Actually, let me hold off on the rest of those because I need to make sure the happy little shields can fit. Take that back. Uh, let's see, right here. All right, we need to put in the last of the uh, weapons. to remove these. I mean, I'm fine with doing that. Okay. 
Dang. Still won't fit right there properly. Okay. That's fine. And the front ones are just a little more forward than all the rest. That's perfectly all right. Now, can we fit those other ones in there then? Since we have the room? Oh no, we still needed them out of the way, otherwise we'd had to put it one further. Okay. I already made it kind of pointy on the side here, so... I think we're good. Yeah. If anything, I would just put some facing like so. Here we go. All right. And now the two happy little shields. Oh, we're too far forward now. Hmm, we have to add a few more cubes. Okay, I'm all right with this. I'm gonna try not to go too forward. I bet you anything, guys. All right. Wait, we're in the wrong little section. We need our happy little shields. There we go. Perfect! Now, let's see if we can add in some hovers up here. I feel like we probably need some hovers there. Probably need some hovers there. And there. I think other than that, we should be good now. Let's see what this baby can do. very high off the ground, does it? I think we need a few more hovers. That maybe some thrusters on the front. Right, I think this is what we're gonna do. Should be a flat area underneath the lower arms. Let's do this. Let's add some front thrusters. And then... Uh, we'll need... Right there. And then two pyramid ones as well.
We can do a little triangle piece here. And then... No, movement. I think that'll do it. Let's test it one more time. the build let us paint this beautiful beautiful monstrosity all right <laughs> get some water here guys all right now to it's uh keep with the, the theme of last time, we're going to go ahead and paint this thing green and yellow. Oh, sorry. Let's do the green first. Now yellow. Yeah. So we had these yellow, those yellow, all of the teeth. Pretty much all of the the talons, <laughs> teeth, with whatever you want to call them. So paint these yellow as well. And there it is. There is our beauty. Now if it gets shot from the side, of course, these are the weak points, but they're a lot thicker than last time, so it would have to be something with a lot of firepower. And this thing is definitely not as slow as it used to be, so... Oh! I almost forgot to paint those. There we go. And I think we're done, guys. I don't know about y'all, but I like it. You know what? That is going to bother me right there. So let's uh, let's change that out real quick. Bam. There. Now it looks like it connects properly. <coughs> Alright guys. The new and improved claw. Only well, has three claws now, but they're beefier claws. And yeah. 
let's go ahead and take it into a battle and see how it does. We're going to take it into an AI one, though. And then, unfortunately, after that, guys, I have to get ready for work, so... <laughs> I don't want to. I actually wanted to have enough time to do a forest stream for y'all, but I will be, as soon as I get off of work, I will be getting back on the computer and doing a stream for you guys, so. You're not going to get him? There we go. Uh, that's the only problem with AI robots. Oddly shaped for a lot, so it's hard to get around here. Right. Okay. Well, definitely lasting a lot longer than I my other bot did. Oh no! How did that guy finish me off? It's not even that strong. Hmm. I got to may have to make the arms a little wider, guys. It does have some issues with getting people, so... Sorry guys, I have no weapons, so I can't help you. Victory. Oh, but well, we won. <laughs> I got four kills, so not bad. So, in between this stream and the next one, I might make a few adjustments, like making the arms smaller, so that way I can make them wider. Like the top one, I'll bring it in some, and then the... Uh, the other ones I'll make a little, like, one or two cubes wider. And then we shouldn't have the issue of, uh, nabbing people. <laughs> and the only other thing I could think of to do would be to trade out the, uh, tier of damage. Let's see. Let's, let's look at that real quick since we have just enough time to do that. Uh, da, 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 yellow. And we need. Weapons, sorry. Oh, 
That definitely would create some more room. Yeah. Let's give that a try and see how effective that is. Okay. And then... It seems too close still. Let's see. There we go. We could bring this in more now that we did that. Oh! I just saw that we missed one of those little hooks. Okay, now that there's more room for a bot to fit in here, let's go ahead and save and quit one more time. And we should have just enough time to test it one more time. Going into the middle of the uh, pack was not the smartest idea of me. Let's try that again. I just don't get why I keep flipping over the way I do. Get out of there. Get you sideways. Yeah, he got me. Sorry. Yeah, I think I still will have to make the arms wider. Okay, I need to relocate the, the Seekers as well, because I just noticed that they're not hitting half the time. Huh. Okay, so move Seekers up one, and uh, make the arms wider. I think I'm going to have to stick with the tier of uh, uh, melee that I have, otherwise it won't, uh, won't work. Oh. Hmm. I'll go ahead and move him out too, just just to be safe. 
<coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, but for the most part, that's what it will look like. So, I'm just gonna make it two wider, and then we can fit more bots in there. And then we can cut off a little bit of the front to bring it in some. And then, same thing with this, we'll cut off a little bit of the front, and then they'll just be right there. So, that'll work. Oh. Alrighty guys, well, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, this build wasn't 100% success. I mean, it still works well, but uh, yeah, we need uh, just a little more time with it. And then we can uh, get it right. So, I'm also going to fill this in, like just bring this to here so that way it looks better. And then just like close, like do a smooth transition all the way up so that way there's not this weird neck thing here. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Alrighty, guys. This is Mad Dog signing off. And we'll see you next time, Slacker Underground. Don't forget to howl at the moon with me as we go. Arr, arr.